This series of videos is going to cover connective tissues, and this video in particular is going to cover areolar loose connective tissue proper. Before we can describe areolar tissue, we need to learn some basics about connective tissues. Connective tissues all have a common origin and our stem cells are called mesenchymal stem cells. These mesenchymal stem cells can become any type of connective tissue, which makes connective tissue special and really, really cool. Connective tissues are made out of two different parts cells and then extracellular matrix. Our cells are going to be specialized to the type of tissue we're looking at. Then our extracellular matrix is also going to be made out of two different components. We have extracellular fibers and ground substance. Extracellular fibers are specialized fiber types that are made by our cells and then secreted into the matrix for a specific function. And we have three different extracellular fibers, collagen, elastic fibers, and reticular fibers. Collagen fibers are going to provide support in one direction and generally they stain pink. Elastic fibers are going to allow our tissue to stretch and recoil. Elastic fibers very often stain purple. And finally we have reticular fibers. Reticular fibers are going to be branched and they provide a supportive network in many directions. So that describes our extracellular fibers and we have left our ground substance. Our ground substance is going to be the fluid filling in all of the spaces between the cells and the fibers. This fluid can be very water-like or it can be gel-like depending on the tissue and the function required of that tissue. Now that we have a nice introduction to connective tissues, let's take a look at areolar tissue. When I think of areolar tissue, I think of a hot mess. Look at this tissue. There is stuff going on all over the place and it doesn't seem like there's any organization to it. So it just looks like someone took pink and purple and threw it at a white slide. But if we take a closer look, what we're going to notice is that we have pink fibers that are straight and they are pointed in sort of all different directions. We can also see much thinner purple fibers and these purple fibers are sometimes straight and sometimes they're a little bit squiggly. If we look right here we can see two squiggly purple fibers. We have dark purple dots all over the place and we have a lot of white space. So those are some general things that I think about when I see areolar tissue. We've got purple dots just scattered everywhere. There's no pattern to the way that they're scattered. We have those larger diffuse looking purple, I'm sorry, diffuse looking pink uh, lines and then we've got these pencil thin purple lines. So what are all of these different parts inside of our areolar loose connective tissue proper? Well, the purple dots are our specialized cell type and they are called fibroblasts or fibrocytes. Remember that a blast is an immature form of a cell, whereas a site is the mature form of our cell. 
and our fibroblasts and our fibrocytes are going to be creating and secreting our specialized fiber types. And we actually have two, so I'm going to make this plural. Our specialized fiber types include collagen, and remember our collagen is going to provide strength in one direction, and it appears to be pink. And then our purple fiber there are our elastic fibers. So we can see both of those in here, and we've got our collagen providing support in whatever direction that it is facing, and our elastic fibers allowing for a little bit of stretch and recoil in this tissue. But we see so much white space in there. So what is the function of this tissue? And that white space is a clue to the function of this tissue. The location of our areolar loose connective tissue proper really explains something about our function as well. So let's talk about our locations. Our locations for areolar tissue predominantly are going to be underlying epithelial tissue. And if you remember, epithelial tissue is avascular, which means that it doesn't have any blood vessels running inside the epithelial tissue itself. And all cells need oxygen and nutrients to live, and they also need to have their waste taken away. So our epithelial tissues are really dependent on the areolar loose connective tissue proper that is found underneath the epithelial tissue because our areolar tissue is going to provide a route for blood vessels and nerve fibers to access that epithelial tissue and all that white space is there because our ground substance is really fairly fluid and because our ground substance is fluid it provides a great place for diffusion to occur between the capillaries inside our areolar loose connective tissue proper and our epithelial tissues on the other side of our loose connective tissue proper. So our areolar tissue is always going to be attached to epithelial tissue and it's going to lie deeper into the organism from the epithelial tissue because remember our epithelial tissue is going to be bordering our outside world or lining our internal spaces. So areolar tissue provides a route for blood vessels and it provides some attachment for the epithelial tissues to deeper tissues. So if we take a closer look at our areolar tissue, we can see our fiber types and our cell types a little bit more clearly. We can see our fibroblasts or fibrocytes nice and clear. This is our entire cell, right? And then we can clearly see our collagen fibers are these big diffuse pink lines and our elastic fibers are the pencil thin, sometimes wavy purple lines. Again, when I look at any picture of areolar tissue, I think, wow, what a mess. But no matter what picture we're looking at, we can see those bigger, more diffuse collagen fibers and our pencil thin, darker, elastic fibers. And just as one more example, we have our uh, fibroblast, our collagen fibers, and our elastic fibers pointed out to us. So no matter what slide you're looking at, you are going to always be able to see those three elements interspersed with a lot of white space. If you have any questions about um, this material, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.